Hey y'all, here at OS Reviews. Today we're taking a closer look at another interesting table lamp slash mood lamp called the Govi Glow. This is from the same company that made the Aura lamp that I really liked with tons of customization for the colors and patterns. And this time around, it's a bit more simple in terms of the effects. However, it has a really interesting eye-catching design. It's almost like a tube and sells for under 50 bucks. Now the tube here also has small little perforated holes. It's made out of aluminum and metal, so it casts this almost diffused light as you are going upwards naturally and uh, just looks really interesting, almost like flames that are inside, even though it's just an LED lamp. And as always, you're able to change the colors, although it's just one color at a time this time around. It's still connected using Wi-Fi, so you're able to control it using the companion app or even even using a voice assistant, and otherwise, again, just looks really modern and elegant. With the entire thing measuring over six inches tall, so inside with the lamp, we also have a quick user guide with a QR code that you can scan to download the companion app called GoV Home. And just like the Aura, it comes with two parts for the wall adapter. So the first part here actually plugs in and has a barrel plug. And then the second part here accepts the barrel plug and then connects to the lamp itself using USB Type-C. The reason why it's separated into these two parts is so that they have a adapter here that's built into a portion of the cable that contains a microphone. So you can use it for the reactive mode. When you're listening to music, it can act as an equalizer as well as the Wi-Fi circuitry. So how it connects to internet is actually in this deep attached box instead of inside of the lamp itself because there is so little space in this particular design. In fact, this is almost exactly the same design as the Aura. However, the color of the box now is black compared to on the last version, it was a white colored box. So they probably also have just some small um, kind of code inside here that just says, okay, this is the Aura and this is the glow. This lamp is so tall, in fact, that it's a little hard to even fit within the frame of this camera. The entire body is made out of metal, so it does have a very sturdy construction. Even when the lamp is turned off, I would say that the design here, in terms of hardware, is a little bit more interesting looking. Now the base here, though, is painted just a regular kind of silver color and houses the touch controls. It is worth noting that the touch controls this time are also backlit, so if you touch it gently, you can see how it will uh, still be visible in the dark. You can find your way around them, and otherwise the base here also has some soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around on a surface or a desk. The overall lamp itself, even though it's quite large, is still relatively lightweight. The base part is made out of plastic, but again, the top portion here from this point onwards is all made out of metal. All right, so turning it on, the first mode that it's at is actually a equalizer effect, which means that it will be flashing and strobing using that built-in microphone, and it will start to change the color every single time that it flashes, as you can see there. Can get fairly bright if you are in a room. It can act as a reading light without any problems, although it is a touch uh, dimmer compared to the aura at the maximum setting. As you are going upwards on this tube, the effect of getting dimmer and dimmer is just maximized using these holes that they've perforated onto this metal surface. So all of this is done in a more mechanical way. Still, it definitely looks really interesting, and in certain colors it does remind me a lot of flame. You can tap on the button here basically to go through some of the presets. This is a slightly more warmer kind of a glow, and we also have a slightly more yellowish slash white light before uh, getting colder in terms of temperature as you can see there. This is the maximum brightness by the way, but we can also make it dimmer as well just by tapping down there. Here's a close-up view of the lamp as we are going from the top all the way towards the uh, bottom section. And it's 360 degrees of course, which means that if you are looking at it from different angles, it still looks consistent. If it's your only desk lamp and you want to have more directed light uh, at a particular point such as a keyboard or a paper, it's not going to be quite doing the most effective job because it's more of a diffused light. Once again, the companion app GoV Home is what makes it a bit more interesting. So we can jump into here and we see that this particular lamp has been connected to Wi-Fi. We can turn it on just by tapping there. And under the first tab, which is color, you can change it to a single color, which is exactly the same that we saw on the Aura lamp. So you can go between these different shades just by quickly jumping back and forth. All looks quite good. And even go into a color wheel to get more granular color control. And then the music, also very similar to what we saw on 
on the Aura lamp, it will flash and strobe to your sound uh, from the microphone. The sensitivity can also be changed, auto color, or you can keep it at one single color, like red. And other ones that you can play around with include the preset scenes, the 20 of those which are built on in, that gives you a slightly different atmosphere. So here is a leisure mode, which is kind of a warm candle light. There's also a night light, which is really dim, but still looks quite good. But they might slowly oscillate a little bit to try and give you something a little more dynamic by changing the brightness level and slightly changing the color temperature. But the entire tube at a single point in time is just displaying one color, instead of, say, having red and blue and green on a different points in the lamp. Uh, but still, it looks quite good. And other things here, there is a sunset glow that you can also try and replicate. So you can see here, it will slowly go between yellowish and reddish um, and strobe back and forth. Forest is going to be green and yellow. So the color shading is similar to the aura, uh, but just done in a slightly more static way. And then under DIY, for example, if we tap on this photo, it will try to recognize the dominant color within the photo is kind of pink. And if I tap on that and apply, it will then try to change the color to this pinkish shade. Shade. So that's really what the DIY can do. It's not quite as advanced as on the Aura, which is kind of like a pixel speaker that you can even draw and create words that you can send over to the lamp. But since this one really is just saving one color at a time, um, it's a bit more restricted there. But still, you can have some control over the effects that you are trying to use. Once again, we have the ability to act as a timer, so it will automatically turn on or off at certain hours during the day. We can change the brightness once again, 100% like this, or all the way to the dimmest setting as well as in the app itself take a look at how other folks have customized the color of their lamps and share some forums or questions with the community can also be done using this app so overall it's very similar to experience that we saw from before so that is more or less it as far as our hands-on review of this govi glow between this and the aura i would say it comes down to your preferences if you want something that has more lighting effects then the aura might be the one to go with but if you want something that has more of an interesting design in terms of the hardware and just looks more unique and eye-catching from afar this is a certainly interesting option to consider as well so you can check out more details if you're interested in the links down below for now that's been our video thanks for watching here at os reviews